body melt from 1993. Summary. Residents of Peaceful Pebbles Court, Holmesville, what a, what a fucking name, are being used unknowingly as test experiments for a new body drug that causes rapid body deco- decomposition, melting skin, etc., and painful death. Directed by Philip Brophy. Don't even fucking look him up because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Written by Philip Brophy and Rod Bishop. Um, see, now I'm going to feel differently about this movie than both of you guys, even though it's Jared's pick. Probably uh, not way different than me. I didn't hate it. Well, from the beginning, the computer sequence where they're showing that computer, I'm like, I love it already. Because when they <laughs> show a computer doing something that it cannot do, that 1990s computer or 80s computer, whatever it is, was literally doing every fucking thing it could do by running that code to make oh, yeah. the, those graphics happen. Star Fox graphics. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. No. Uh, no, no, that's not, what I, that's not what I'm shaking my head. He says it's not Star Fox. <laughs> that's not what I'm sh- that's Star like, Fox was clearly he's superior. He's uh, head of this movie, probably. I'm shaking my head because Frank didn't ask me if there's anything oh. I wanted to add. Do you want to add anything? I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where to put it. I put it in the wrong place last time. I'm got nervous. A, uh, body melts. Got a tagline. The first phase is hallucinogenic. The second phase is glandular. And the third phase is body, body melt. melt. Uh, dun, dun, dun. This is re- released on Blu-ray in 2016 by Umbrella Entertainment. Uh, I've heard lots of good people, or lots of people, talk about how good this release is. <laughs> they're, <laughs> not and they're good people. people. <laughs> <Not that> they're <laughs> there are a lot good of good people. people talk about this. Um, but that, that's all I had to, to add as far as the. I'll get it in the right place. Yeah, next I see. Time. When, when I picked this, I picked this because I saw a lot of people reviewing it very positively. Well, it, it is uh, it is something else uh, to basically describe what's happening. There's a, a drug company, a vitamin company, vitamin, and they are they have a group of test subjects living in like this uh, little neighborhood. Kind of is that what's going on? What's the, what's those things called, Jared? What things? Uh, the, it's not, the not a suburb, but it's a uh, it's like cul de sac. Cul de sac. That's yeah. the word. Um, yeah, there's like, what, four or five different families there. And I thought it was sort of set up like an anthology movie a little bit because they touched on each family a little bit. I don't know. It, I I liked it a lot. Um, I thought when they in- introduced the inbred family, uh, I gave it like a lot of brownie points for that. Uh, yeah, when it when that was one of my problems with it. Not that they were in it, but they tie into it later. But there's no reason to make a mystery of how they tie it like yeah. when they come in it makes no sense right it's just like if all of a sudden it feels like a completely different movie by the end they're part of the the main dude of the inbred family was part of the team that created this formula the reason it doesn't work is because he kept his the right. the part of it that keeps you from melting he he stole it, and that's why it doesn't work now. So it all kind of ties together, but uh, but it makes no sense when they come in. I don't need that though. I just need <laughs> uh, a fucked up family who's got a grandma set up watching porn in the in the back hallway. Oh yeah, that that the logistics of that made me fucking love this movie because there's some dude that's like, uh oh, grandma's porn tape is you know, <laughs> it's, it's needs rewound or whatever. You know they didn't have auto rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Not these motherfuckers. Somebody's in there working that schedule out for Granny. Yeah. But there was actual dick, like balls slapping yeah, yeah, in there. It yeah. doesn't, yeah. The, the nudity is <laughs> right away. In fact, uh, I jotted it down. At a minute 30 mark it's into right it, you bat. got boobs and penis right right at, at a yeah. minute 30. Boom. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think that's all there is. I don't think there's any more nudity in the movie. Uh, if there is, it's not a great yeah. deal. Yeah, not really. Um I liked. Uh, the I like that you guys always pick out the time. First thing, <laughs> here's what the movie's about. Well, I, I mean, it like just at these points in time. Like make it, it started. And I, now let's away. talk about the movie. If it's right away, you got it. I wasn't expecting all. The, like I have dick on my screen at at <laughs> one minute thirty into this movie. Yeah, uh, I, I loved all the hallucination sequences. Uh, uh, I I even like the simplistic electronic score. I, I I liked I liked everything about this movie really. Um, that's me though. I, face. Like, 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 I wish, I wish the camera wasn't <laughs> over there and it was over here, and we could have caught that expression. I'm sure I've got him on it. 
but the muscle man's voice, the high pitched muscle man. That made me giggle. The the kid the kid <laughs> when the kid gets smashed on the half pipe and he, they're like, Oh, he's just camping tonight or whatever, and then he rolls over and his fucking face is all smashed. Yeah, the mo- the movie has stuff worth watching yeah. it in it. I thought the death scenes and the effects in it were uh, they're really yeah, great. The, the melt yeah, they're they're is, really great. Is entertaining. They're really great. Nineties. There's a dick that explodes. Effects. Oh well, <laughs> let's here. Let, let me just say, a woman massages a rib out of a guy. Oh yeah, that's good. A pregnant lady drops placenta from her body. And then a Bobby the built uh, bodybuilder's <laughs> penis explodes when he when he gets in an erection. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like if all this sounds good to you, yeah, yeah. I mean, watch <laughs> my my where, where the movie fell apart with me is. They had a cool story, the idea of the drug company. And good good it, enough. Yeah, like they had a cool story for what they were doing with good effects. The acting, good enough it, effects. The acting isn't anything worth mentioning, but it wasn't terrible. No, it is like an Australian out film, so that's a little charm added to it. It's but Australian. They had they had all the elements you need to make a good night, but, a che- good cheesy '90s horror movie, and the way the story twists and turns it. It, it it's not it's not funny cheesy it's just it, it hurts the movie it's it's it no, takes you out of it, it and I've, I've i've actually re- or heard people compare this to dead alive i could see that like that's not i could see how you could compare it but it's not i mean it's just dis- it's a disgusting movie but other than that and it's australian that's close to new zealand i mean so. i was incredibly bored a lot with this movie. I yeah. was never bored once in <laughs> Dead, <laughs> Dead no Alive. Yeah. I, I think the way they kill people and their ideas could have paid off, but they just yeah, they be, uh, tell the story in a poor way. I think that the only thing that that uh, allows this movie to have a, the following that it does is is the, the body horror, the, the effects. Yeah, it's, yeah. Everything else is garbage. It's absolutely over-the-top death scenes. I... Like you know me, I like bologna sandwich movies. That's what this is. I gave it an eight out of ten. I think it would be a perfect double feature with Street Trash. I don't know if you guys have seen that one, but double feature Street ta- Trash and Body Melt can't beat it. What you say, guys? Um, I, I I don't think it's a good story. Uh, well, it, it has it's a good idea, like you said. Uh, but no, they they didn't pull it off. There's Absolutely no character development, no atmosphere. Um, it does have a little bit, a decent soundtrack, or at least I think, you know, some some decent parts. Um, it's got practical effects, so that that's one good thing. Um, it's disgusting, so if that's if that's your thing, you may like it. I gave it a four. Um, I got if you're into '90s cheese. This is that. Um, it falls apart in the execution of the story from being really good. Um, and the main thing, the thing I had in it is overall, it's funny, it's gory. If you're in 90s cheese, I think it's worth your time. But definitely, whenever you get to it, I wouldn't put it high on a list. It's worth watching, but, eh. but uh, I gave it a 6 out of 10. Well, there you have it.